Congratulations, Call of Duty Mobile. You finally banned the most underground famous hacker of them all, me. Jokes aside, I don't hack on this game. You guys know that. You can see my hand cam and all the juicy things in every single one of my videos. But I did get banned. And this seems to be a very big problem in the game. One of which that I was skeptical of at the start. But let me tell you how this actually happened. So since January 15th, which was the last time I actually logged in to Call of Duty Mobile, I've been insanely sick. Bleeding from holes I didn't even know I could. The only time I left my bed was to go to the toilet. That's how bad it was. So with me not hopping onto the game and no matches being played, there should have been absolutely no way that I could get banned. Keep in mind, we've done some crazy stuff over the years that I have not been picked or banned for. So to now have my account wiped while I wasn't using it seems kind of fishy to me. This wasn't just any ban. As you've seen, it was a 10 year, basically permanent ban. I just got my character skin. And you're gonna ban me? How am I gonna bask in all its glory? and enjoy my katana. Ridiculous. Anyway, there's been some comments around the community that a 10 year ban can only be done by a developer, which prior to this ban, I probably would have believed. But for some reason, I don't think Timmy, Jimmy, or Billy, sent at the Activision offices, has decided, you know what? Let's ban Ferg for absolutely no reason other than the fact he hasn't been playing enough. Actually, that seems like quite a good idea to get me back onto the camp. Anyway, I don't think that's the reason. Personally, I think this is a targeted attack, a mass Fair. So we, without a doubt, need to fix the mass report problem inside of the game. And I feel like me getting banned was probably exactly what was needed to start this snowball effect and get this feature removed. It's up to you, College of Duty Mobile. Subscribe!